Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. Today I'm doing a realistic rebuild of the Patriots. We've gone through every team three to four times in Madden 20's lifespan. So we're just going to go back around, do some teams I want to do. So the Pats are an 81 overall team, 81 offense, 83 defense. It's really interesting to see what they're going to do with Cam Newton. I mean, I'm a Patriots fan. That's why I'm doing the Patriots again. So let's just hop right into it. If I know what's going to happen. We made the playoffs and got a first round bye. I'd love to see that. We went 10 and 6. Bills 7 and 9. The Dolphins and the Jets 6 and 10. I don't know how long we'd have Newton on our team. Probably just this year. But 44 yards, 38 and 10. Awesome year. White 989 with 10 touchdowns. 3 for Michelle, 4 for Newton. Receiving Edelman 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Marquise Lee 925 with 7. Devin, 884, 7 touchdowns, 3 for Sanu, 6 for White. On defense, Hightower, 120 tackles. Sack totals, 11 for Simon, 5.5 for Weiss, 4 for Guy. Interceptions, 4 for Gilmore, and a lot of ones to go around. Yilly Awards, what do we got? Tannehill with the MVP, Newton at number 2, would have loved to see that. Coach of the Air, Matt LaFleur. We are number 6 with Griffin Murphy. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Newton the 2. Defensive Player of the Year, Ryan Chazier, of course. Offensive Rookie, we have a sire, a CSC, I think that's how you say it, technically a 10. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Logan Wilson, and we have nothing. For XP, we don't have much on offense aside from our tight end who has five. Isaiah Wynn has two, I suppose. And on defense, Winovich has four, will be up to an 80. I should probably put him in an outside linebacker position. And other than that, we maybe Jackson has some. He has one up to an 83 overall. But we're good to go. Can we beat the 10-6 Cleveland Browns, get back to the AFC Championship game? Of course not. We lost 24-17. Let's take a look. It's Titans versus the Browns. Like, really? Baker, 2-8 with a touchdown. Newton, 123-1-1. One one. Not good. Chubb, 101 with a touchdown. Burkhead Hunt with a touchdown. Receiving Hooper, 7 for 91. Touchdown Beckham, touchdown Lee. And that's going to be it. The Browns beat the Eagles 31 to 14. I don't see the Eagles making it next year. McCourty, Tooney. I think they just franchise tagged him, I believe. But let's give him a three-year deal. He'll be done at 30 years old. That'll be fine. Adam Butler can go. Dalton Keene, a lot of people talk him up. So I'm going to give him a three. He'll go four-year deal, 1.8930K. Calhoun could go. I I mean, I want to bring back Devin McCourty, but I guess I could increase the money, give him $15 million for one year. Yeah, I'm just going to franchise tag him. Let's go to the draft. So we have the 25th overall pick. I think we found the answer. Brett McAdoo, right? Bunch of running backs. There is a tackle, which we could definitely use early first. How many second round picks we have? Just one? Oh, man, I'm going to pass him out. He's going to pass on him, rather. Pass him out. Pass on him, and we're going to miss out. Ah, oh, this left tackle is way too good to pass up on. I'm going to go Craig Miner. He's a 76 overall hit in development. 88 strength, 76 run block, 86 pass block. I'm training Cam Newton a third and a fourth round pick for the Jaguars' second round pick so we can trade up and get that rookie. Uh, we're at the sixth overall pick in the second round. I mean, Cam Newton should be gone anyways, and I tried to make a deal where I just did a second and a third to trade up, but they wouldn't take that for whatever reason. Let's take him. 73 overall, hidden development. 86 throw power, 84 deep back seat, 80 medium, 85 short. The only first-round talent left on the board is a running back in Ricky Little. He's a 71 overall, hidden development. 68 break tackle, 94 speed, 90 acceleration, 92 agility. So I put James White and Sony Michelle on the trade block, but I'm going to trade him for a 2 and a 7 from the Colts. Kind of surprised nobody wants Sony Michelle. I don't really understand that. I might mainly trade him and probably Burkhead. I'm trading Sony Michelle and Burkhead for a second round pick from the Bills. So we have an 80 overall team, 80 offense, 81 defense. We're going to have to address receiver after the season. Asai Asai is up the start of Elba, which is good as well. And then on defense, I mean, it basically looks the same, actually. Simon's up the star. Lawrence Guy must be in his 30s by now. Yeah, let's just cut him. We'll save about $2 million. We can make Winovich start over there and end. And then we'll be good to go. Let's go to the playoffs. We missed the playoffs. That's unfortunate. We went 5-11. 
Dolphins 10 and 6, the Bills 9 and 7, the Jets 9 and 7. Let's see how McAdoo did. 3,700 yards just about. 21 and 11, or 22 and 11, rather. Little 676 with A2 for McAdoo. Receiving Edelman 981, seven touchdowns. Sanu 837 with seven. One for Asai, Asai, four for Lee. On defense, Hightower 119 tackles. Jones 113. Sack totals four and a half for Simon, two and a half for Hightower, Use, Weiss. And interceptions, three for Chung, two for Use and Gilmore, and a few ones. Yilly Awards, what do we got? Herbert with the MVP. Is Newton up there? I don't see Newton, which is good. Coach of the year, Andy Reid. Why am I going NFC? AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Nothing. Def Actually, Newton was up there. Right there for the Jaguars. Defensive Player of the Year, Von Miller, Logan Wilson, Mac Wilson. We have Hightower at 10. Offensive Rookie, McAdoo Little, 2 and 3. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Nothing. Give me these developments. Superstar for McAdoo will be up to a 79. Minor has three star development. Little has star five XP. So that is good. Nothing really else for XP on offense and on defense. Two for Jennings, two for Use, one for Winovich. JC Jackson with one. The Browns beat the Saints 30 to 16, back to back Super Bowl champions. McCourty could probably go at this point. Hightower definitely can. Andrews, I want to bring back. Jackson, I want to bring back. Simon could go. Sanu, Weiss, probably. We might have a ton of money, right? Oh, 82.3. Yes. So I brought back McCourty for one year, but Andrews turned us down. And I'm going to franchise tag him for $11 million. Everybody else, even though Weiss is intriguing, but I think we'll be good to go. We're going to have like $55 million for free agency. $57 million exactly. You never see that. What's going to be here? Mahomes, we know, but we're not doing that. Keanu O'Neal would be interesting scheme fit. Awuze, we don't need. Rankins, I'm not against it. 93 points, we can give him three, uh, maybe. Njoku, we definitely don't need. Carl Lawson would be interesting, but I don't think so. I mean, Hightower, if you want to come back for a one-year deal, I wouldn't stop you, but I'm not giving you a big money contract. No way, no how. Derek Barnett. Demario Davis, McKinley's way down there. Not a ton of players I want to bring in. Johnny Smith. Ah, but we have our rookie with basically the same overall. I'm going to go Keanu Neal. Five years is fine. Let's go 7.5. Seven, uh, seven, Let's go 5.3. That's going to beat the Panthers by one if they come to our team. Good. If not, it's not the end of the world. Let's advance the week. Really? Neil turned us down. All right, let's go to the draft then. So we have the third overall pick. Is there a way to trade this back? There usually is. With the Browns, who just went back-to-back -back Super Bowl championships. I think I'm all set. Let's take a look at the Heisman really quickly. Why is it never here? I just recorded a video where it wasn't here. Now it's not here again. I don't, I don't really understand it. So what are we going to bring in? We could go receiver, deep threat, mid first, though. I don't think that's the answer. We don't need a corner. Oh, he has a bunch of receivers. Okay. Let's see which one of these is early. He's early, so let's put Buchanan up there. Bubba Buchanan. Mid first. And Jeffries is an early first. Let's just keep taking a look around. Peoples, late first. We can wait on that. Maybe he'll be there in the second round. 7-8 combine. That's insane. Uh, we don't need a center at the moment, but we will eventually. I think we are down to the receivers. Uh, let's go to our draft board. I think Buchanan is probably the right pick. A- minus is across the board. 4-5-5 five, five for speed. 4-5-3 with better. But I like that Buchanan's a route runner, so I'm going to go Buchanan. 76 overall, hidden development, ranked 9. Eight, ninth, rather. 87 speed, 89 acceleration, 82 catching, 78 catch a trap. Now, I know I didn't want to bring in Jonu Smith, but Justin Backus is so good that I'm going to take him. He's a 74 overall hidden development, 81 speed, 77 catching, 60 run block, 76 awareness. And then with our other second round pick, we're going Alante Hicks. He's a 72 overall hidden development. 89 strength, 75 block shed and power move, 59 finesse. So we have an 81 overall team across the board. Buchanan is our number two receiver because Edelman retired. We have Backus as our starting fullback and our second tight end. 
Hopefully, you can get a ton of XP. Hicks is starting at defensive tackle. And a lot of our guys are getting up there in age. Like Jones, Chung, McCourty, Hightower already is. So we have our work cut out for us after this season, but we might be able to make the playoffs. Let's go find out. We made the playoffs at 10-6. and six. All right. I thought that'd be good enough for a first round bye. But the Jets 10-6, and six, Dolphins 9-7, and seven, and the Bills 7-9. and nine. Poor Bills. McAdoo, about 4,200 yards, 29-5. and five. Awesome. Little 798 with two. Harris with eight. Receiving Lee, 1,000 with seven. Harry, 861 with eight. Asai Asai, 804 with five. Buchanan, 632 with seven. On defense, Hightower, 119 tackles. Sack totals, eight for Ruse, five and a half for Hicks, the rookie. Interceptions, three for Gilmore, and a lot of ones. What is that? Seven ones, so 10 interceptions between, I guess, realistically, eight people, but MVP, really? I don't want to talk about it. No Patriots. Hoops is the coach of the year. We're at number three. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. McAdoo, nowhere to be found. Defensive Player of the Year, nothing. Offensive Rookie Buchanan is going to take it home. Back is in three. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Hicks four, Westerman five. Come on, good development. Superstar for Buchanan, six XP, awesome. Back is forward star development. He's already up to an era 78 overall because that's a tight end. He's a 78 overall, but he might just be our fullback from now on. Hicks has star development, six XP points. Clayton doesn't really matter all too much, but he has three. Nothing really else to talk about. Can we beat the 10-5-1 Pittsburgh Steelers? We can. And of course, we're running into the back-to-back -back Super Bowl champion Browns. We beat them, though. Now we're going against Patrick Mahomes, so it doesn't matter. Everything is out the window. Can we make the Super Bowl? Nope. Bucks versus the Jaguars. The Bucks beat the Jaguars 35-21. I want to see how badly we got beat. Postseason, 35-17. to 17. It is Patrick Mahomes, but who is he throwing it to? Why did Stidham throw a touchdown? Mahomes didn't even throw a touchdown. Sure. McAdoo, 225 with a touchdown. Fournette, 115 with one. Armstead, two. Two for Mahomes. They're rushing all over the place. Chark, 93 yards. Buchanan, 73. And the touchdown by was Devin Asiasa. Now, Stefan Gilmore is going to be a free agent. We're definitely bringing him back. McCourty could finally go. Andrews, I'd like to bring back. Win definitely. Bentley, probably. I imagine we have a ton of money. I mean, we have to. $104 million. Wow. $76 million in cap space. We can get whatever we want. I want a J.J. Watt on the team. I want a Van Der Esch on the team. You know, we'll say up to start of element. Not bad. Ridley's coming aboard for sure. Daniels? Probably not, but we could if we wanted to. Sam Darnold's there. That's interesting. No, Wosu's up there, but that doesn't make sense if we bring in Van Dresch. I'm going to make some moves, and I'll show you what I did have. So I made an offer to carry on Johnson, so he's on the team. We got Van Dresch, Ridley, Daniels, and J.J. Watt. So we have the 30th overall pick in the first round, but the 8th overall pick in the second round. I almost want to go for a running back, but let's take a look around really quickly. We don't need an end anymore. I mean, Beecham would have been good to take for sure. He still might be good to take. Let's go free safety. Elijah Leno for sure. He's a 75 overall hidden development. 88 speed, 73 zone, 76 tackles, 77 pursuit. So there's a few first round talents left on the board. And I really want to go Mobley, I believe, unless Reynolds blows me away, which he does not. Let's go Mobley. He's a 74 overall hidden development. 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 79 catching, 78 catch in traffic. So I put Joe Tooney on the trade block because we picked up James Daniels. And let's take a three and a four from the Texans. Not really worried about them whatsoever. So we have an 84 overall team, 85 offense, 83 defense. We're actually looking really good, I would say. Got a running back, got some receivers. The offensive line is solid across the board. We added J.J. Watt. We have Leno on the team, Van Der Esch. We should walk into the playoffs. Let's go find out. And we don't make the playoffs. That's insane. We went 6-10 and ten tied with the Dolphins. Bills 9-7. The Jets 7-8-1. McAdoo 3,900 yards, 26-15. Not great. Johnson 929 with 7. Receiving Ridley 820 with 7. Mobley 802 with 6. Devin Asai Asai with 2. 5 from Buchanan. What about the... Oh, that was Mobley right here with 6. That's not bad. On defense, Bentley 113 tackles. JC Jackson 104. Sack totals 12 and a half for Watt, 10 and a half for Jennings, 5 for Usay. And interceptions, 1 for Jennings, Van Der Esch, Duggar, and Gilmore.
Now for yearly awards, what do we got? Mahomes with the MVP. No Pats. Coach of the Year, Bill O'Brien for the Seahawks. And they went 14-2. Very realistic, I would say. Offensive player. Nothing. Defensive player, Darius Leonard. Patrick Queen's up there. Offensive rookie, Mobley's going to take it home. Defensive rookie of the year, Leno. All right, so we won offensive and defensive rookie of the year. Carr at five, Reynolds at eight, and Hooks at ten. Just give me another superstar, either receiver or free safety. Mobley has star, five XP, Lee up to a 79 overall. Two for Buchanan. Nothing really else on offense. Yeah, let's go to special teams. Leno star development, four XP points. That's all right, I suppose. Kind of disappointing, though. The Ravens beat the Cowboys 28-14. to now, Chase Winovich is going to be a free agent. He's definitely coming back. Jonathan Jones, probably not. Use can come back. Duggar got up to star, which is good. And we once again probably have a ton of money, yeah. So the only player that turned us down was Jonathan Jones, as that is not a huge deal. So we have about $40 million in cap space. I mean, you know we're bringing in Byron Murphy. We need another corner. We just lost Jonathan Jones, you know? So we have Murphy, Gilmore, JC Jackson. Seemed pretty good. We're going to add Bobby Wagner to the team for sure. I'll give him three years. I'll increase the money. This is so realistic. 122 points. Tell me that doesn't make sense to you. Why don't we have a tackle? We should, yeah, we're fine at tackle. I don't know what's going on there. We could bring in a punter. We could bring out an outside linebacker if we wanted to. There's really not much we need. We do need a strong safety. I don't know if Jeremy Chin's... The, I know because we have Duggar with star development, so we don't really need him. I think we're done, unless I just bring in another corner just to be four deep. Or go like Hudson and Schwartz just because. Kind of sounds fun to me. Let's do that. 16.7, 105 for him. We have to beat 93. That's not going to happen. But Mitchell Schwartz, pretty good, I would say. We got Murphy. We got Schwartz. We got Wagner. Good. Let's go to the draft. So we have the eighth overall pick, and all we really need is a middle linebacker two or an end. We could go with Dodson, just put him over a middle linebacker. Never mind, didn't know he was late first. 7-1, mid first, seems pretty good. What about Hensley? Late first, what's going on? Don't tell me, that's unbelievable. There's a guard, there's running backs, another end, Mayberry does not, another late first, from the eighth overall pick, what are we doing here? Yeah, I don't see anything I want, so let's go with Hargrave. He's a 74 overall, hidden development, rank 16. 74 power move, 73 finesse, 81 speed, 83 acceleration. So we can go with a running back, or we can go with a tackle. And I think I'm going to go with Thomas. He's a 74 overall with hidden development. We don't need him, I understand. But 89 strength, 75 run block, 83 pass block. So we have an 86 overall team, 89 offense, 84 defense. This team is so good on offense. And I'd say probably a little bit better on defense, even though J.J. Watt retired, which is unfortunate. But let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoffs at 9-6-1, sneaking our way in there. We'll play against the 10-5-1 Dolphins. Bill 7-9, the Jets 6-10. McAdoo about 4,200 yards, 36-9, awesome. Johnson 1,000 with 5. Receiving Mobley 932, 12 touchdowns. Ridley 924 with 6. Devin Asai Asai, 750 with 6, 4 for Buchanan, 5 for Johnson. Rece or on defense, rather, sorry. 104 for Van Der Esch, 103 for Wagner. Sack totals, 12 for Use. Wow. 11 for Hargrave, the rookie, 5.5 for Hicks. Interceptions, 2 for Duggar, and a few ones to go around. Lamar Jackson with the MVP. No Patriots. Coach of the year, Kyle Shanahan. There we are, number 9. AFC Offensive Player, McAdoo at 7. Defensive Player of the Year, nothing. Offensive Rookie, we have Renner at 8. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Hargrave, good, good, good. And that's going to be it. Let's go take a look at our team and then upgrade it and see if we beat the Dolphins, which I think we should be able to, but then probably run into the Browns or something. Two for McAdoo will be up to an 88 overall. Thomas has five still hidden development. Two for Buchanan. Two for Mobley, so we have great receivers. Hargrave, star development, but 9 XP points, which is awesome. Let's upgrade the team. Can we beat the 10-5-1 Miami Dolphins, make it to the next round? Wow. I talk a big game, and we lost. Let's take a look. 21-16. I know it's Tua. 247-2-1, we still lost. McAdoo, 235 with a touchdown. 
Breed of 48, touchdown for Hines. Receiving Williams 114, 84 for Ridley, 55 for Asai Asai. Touchdown for Devontae Parker and a touchdown for Buchanan and Doty? Doty? I don't know if that's how you'd say that. Let's go take one final look at our team before we end this video. I want to see what Thomas's development's going to be. It's going to be like Superstar, and it's going to be kind of aggravating. Oh, uh, where is he? He has star development. All right. But who do we draft? Minor, Thomas, Buck, or Bacchus. I want to say Buckus for some reason. Buchanan we drafted. Mobley we drafted. McAdoo, Little at running back. On defense, we drafted Leno with free safety. Hargrave, Hicks. And I guess that's it. But we brought in Murphy. We brought in Van Der Esch, We brought in J.J. Watt at some point. Bobby Wagner. But that's going to be it for the video. If you want to support me on a more personal level, go to patreon.com slash headstronggaming. If you donate for pledge $5 a month, you get an exclusive realistic rebuild a week for the whole month. Not just $5 a week. It's $5 a month. You get a video every single week. And you can vote on what team I do a 30-year rebuild in. But hit that like button, the subscribe button. Come on back for more, and I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you to my patrons for the month of July. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, the oldest man alive, Greg. And thank you, hashtag Team Relic.